Economic Development, presented by the Institute for Public Administration at the University of Delaware. Economic development is the process of generating and sustaining wealth in a community. Towns and cities engage in proactive strategies for economic development by building on existing assets, engaging stakeholders, and establishing a vision for the future. Comprehensive plans are the most powerful tool that local governments have to direct development. A comprehensive plan formally establishes the community's objectives for the future and addresses the planning considerations that are necessary to make those objectives possible. Master plans, capital improvement plans, and infill development strategies are among a number of other planning tools that can also play a crucial role in planning for economic development. The photo on this slide shows Milford, Delaware's business district. There are four major components of economic development plans. The first step towards a more vital economy is to gather background information and stakeholder feedback. This process brings government officials, business leaders, and community members together for the purpose of discussing economic development. Existing economic and land use conditions can then be evaluated. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats or SWOT analysis, is often used at this stage to identify what areas are already suited for growth and what areas need improvement. To be most effective, the strategy must include an action timeline for achieving the desired outcomes. Newcastle County recently unveiled its strategy for economic development. It was developed with insight from prior studies and an analysis of relevant data, along with Newcastle County stakeholders and business leaders. With this information, and in collaboration with economic development consultants, the county has been able to identify the region's strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities for future growth. Regional economic development plans are important because they have the capacity to address issues that local governments do not have jurisdiction over. Broader plans also promote a cohesive vision for the future, where the issues that impact many individual communities can be addressed simultaneously. The photo on this slide shows the City of Wilmington's train station, which was noted by the regional plan as being a key asset for the county. Economic gardening is an internal approach to economic development. The core belief of this strategy is that local entrepreneurs are vital to creating companies that bring new wealth, jobs, and growth to a community. Painted Stave Distillery, pictured on this slide, is an example of local entrepreneurs driving economic growth. With the help of state and local governments, the distillery's owners were able to open the facility that serves as both a small manufacturing and retail space, right in the heart of downtown Smyrna. This business was founded by local individuals, and therefore inherently tied to the community. This factor increases the likelihood that the distillery will remain an integral part of downtown Smyrna's economy for years to come. There are also economic development strategies that are more broadly defined. General economic development includes actions like recruiting new businesses and offering support to expanding local businesses. The key to success amidst all of these strategies is building community capacity through human, technological, and financial means. Local governments, business leaders, and community members all play an equal role in ensuring that these capacities are built in keeping with the community's vision for the future. Market Ready Redevelopment focuses on a need for communities to establish a clear vision, forge partnerships, and build consensus for economic development and private investment. Although similar to Shovel Ready Development, Market Ready Redevelopment goes beyond simply attracting investment. It is a proactive process that seeks to accomplish a community vision for economic development. This strategy calls on local governments to use transparent, streamlined, and business-friendly policies to protect the interests of citizens while at the same time welcoming new investment. A large example of market-ready redevelopment in Delaware is the redevelopment of Newark Chrysler plant site. The factory opened in 1951 and was used to manufacture cars and trucks until 2008. Today, the expansive site is being redeveloped as the University of Delaware Star Campus. When completed, the Star Campus will be home to the University's College of Health Sciences, research facilities, commercial development, mixed-use development, a fitness and wellness center, as well as public spaces. An improved train station with multimodal capabilities will connect the site and surrounding community with other cities in the Mid-Atlantic region. 
Story maps provide a new avenue for local governments and economic development organizations to showcase a planning process or market features of developable properties. This easy-to-use technology can integrate available open access GIS data, such as local infrastructure, bus routes, cell towers, census data on populations and demographics, and, under, and other interesting facts. Story maps can be used to market available properties in downtown infill areas, business parks, or other designated growth areas. They may also highlight the location of capital improvement projects, must visit restaurants and breweries, farmers markets, community garden locations, local park systems, areas of low impact development, and much more. This GIS map shows Middletown's future land use and annexation areas. In the 1990s, Middletown began planning for its future by creating a master development plan for 2,000 acres on the west side of the town. From there, the area was rezoned for residential, commercial, and industrial uses. During the following years, the town, in collaboration with state agencies and private developers, made additional improvements to the area. These efforts all paid off in February of 2012 when Amazon.com announced its plan to build a $90 million fulfillment center on the site in Middletown. The town of Smyrna is taking important steps to ensure economic prosperity. By developing a long-term land use and transportation master plan for US Route 13, which runs directly through the town, Smyrna will be able to attract investment and steer development to the areas in which it will, it will be most beneficial. The study found that Smyrna's historic and retail sector had room for growth, and the increased investment in the downtown area signaled more demand for urban living. Smyrna also worked with Dover Kent County Metropolitan Planning Organization, the Office of State Planning Coordination, the Delaware Department of Transportation, and consultants to develop a strategy for making the thoroughfare a more pleasant place to live and work. The state of Delaware is committed to helping local governments plan for and execute economic development strategies. The Delaware Economic Development Office provides information and programming for local governments to aid their economic development efforts. It also administers the Downtown Development District Program that grants selected communities with capital assistance for improvements to downtown neighborhoods and commercial areas. There are also important local organizations. These organizations include Chambers of Commerce, Downtown Partnerships, and County Offices for Economic Development. An extensive, an extensive list of these organizations can be found on the Complete Communities DE website under Economic Development Resources.